Hey, what's going on guys? Well, I'm very excited today because I got the Smoky Mountain Knife Works Christmas catalog in the mail. <laughs> That's a very exciting thing for me because I love knives, uh, as do most of you who are watching. Um, this, this is just as exciting today as it, it's been for the last, I don't know, 21 years. Uh, ever since I was nine years old, uh, I've gotten this catalog every Christmas. And I can't even tell you how many Christmases in my, my youth um, that most of my presents from Santa uh, came from this catalog. Uh, from knives to Zippos to just random gear. I remember one year I asked my parents, I must have been like 11 or 12 years old, and I asked my parents for a, a camping toilet. And they outright said no. My, my mother, she's like, look. She's like, I know you like your knives and Zippos and all that kind of stuff. She's like, I'm not buying you a toilet for Christmas. It was like one of those camping gear things, like a fold-out commode. And I don't know why I thought it was cool and I wanted it for Christmas, but she straight up smacked me down. She's like, look, I'm not getting you a toilet for Christmas. Don't be weird. Ask for some knives or something. So, <laughs> thank you, Mom. Maybe this year you can get me the commode for Christmas. But anyway, um, <laughs> i got to show you this. I'm so distracted. I want to do this video and show you guys some cool stuff, but I got this guy under the table just chilling. Look at him. What, are you going to give me some attitude? He's just waiting. He, You know, it's so sad because he wants me to play with him, but uh, I got to wait because I got to do this video. Right, Gus? I promise. I promise you that we will play for hours on end when I'm done with this video, okay? I love you, buddy. Hang in there. Alright, let's get back to this video. We can get you back in the tripod here. Oh, no, oh, not quite. Don't want you falling. Okay. Alright. I'm not going to talk about everything. I can literally talk about every item in this entire catalog and talk for hours. And I know a couple of you probably want to see that. But I'll spare the rest of you that, that kind of agony. Um, so I did, uh, you know, mark a couple pages with a couple interesting items. But let's just flip through quickly. Uh, now, one thing I say that I, I kind of regret is every year, Case comes out with their special Christmas Zippo. And as much as I love Christmas and, and as much as I love Zippos, it would have been an awesome idea if way back when I started getting the yearly Zippo and I had a collection of Christmas models. I wish I did that, but I didn't. Oh well. Uh, there's, there's other stuff that I wanted more, I guess. But yeah, every year Case does like their special Christmas knives or Christmas themed stuff. And then there's their Zippo as well. So here's some more Christmassy knives. Very cool rust lock with Santa on there. I love that. A snowman or a tray. See, I'm into Santa. I love Santa stuff. In fact, I actually painted a picture of Santa. If you guys want to see that, let me know. I'll show you that real quick in another video. Um, but my wife is totally into Christmas trees. So everything we do for Christmas is either Santa or trees. But anyway. All right, so we've got some different case models here, all uh, traditional patterns. And different uh, handle materials, of course. Got a couple different Zippos. Let's see here. Oh. We got Wayne stuff. We got some Harley Zippos. I actually like the Lava uh, Kieranite. I have some custom grips from uh, Tough Thumbs for my little Derringer, the Cobra Derringer in that Lava Kieranite. Be cool to have a matching knife, but I'm I'm I don't ride a Harley. I'm not a biker. So it doesn't make sense for me to buy a Harley uh, knife. But anyway, we got some Duck Dynasty stuff if you're into that. I personally, I'm not into Duck Dynasty. I don't really have anything against them. You know, God bless them for being billionaires. I mean, they're already rich, and then they probably make more money from the show and all their merchandise that they sell, um, you know, compared to the, the millions of dollars they get from their duck call. But anyway, interesting little uh, hatchet, the Quack Axe, or Quacks Axe, excuse me. I have to say, it's creative. But Kershaw jumped on board with the Duck Dynasty stuff. And again, can't blame him. A lot of money there, a lot of interest. All right, let's see. Okay, so first marked page is actually behind here. I skipped it. Now I gotta kind of remember, oh yeah, okay. I have to kind of remember, because I did this this morning when I got the mail. Um, all right, so first thing I want to say was there's a little corner here with some uh, Pathfinder gear, which is very cool. Um, love get, uh, Dave Canterbury. 
and uh, everything he does. I think he's an awesome guy. I had the, the pleasure of meeting him. Uh, but what I marked this page for is I recently saw a video with Artisan Tony, and he was at a book signing at Smoky Mountain Knife Works, which I'm jealous because I have yet to actually be at the store. Um, maybe in the future, I'll, I'll travel out, of course. But uh, he did a little book signing, so I thought it was really cool. So Dave Canterbury has uh, his own Bushcraft 101 book, only $16.99. So uh, probably put that on my Christmas list. Uh, like I said, I'm a big fan of him. Um, I, I love them on Dual Survivor. I liked them way before the show. Obviously, a lot of people know him from the show. He gained a lot of, um, a lot of fame from that. Um, and of course the Pathfinder School when he started that a lot of people, you know, more people heard about him anyway But I remember way back when just being a YouTube guy just being a cool guy And he always gave me the time of day. He would talk to everyone just a really cool guy So I always appreciate that. I like his personality and uh, I think he's very very knowledgeable in the way of the wilderness So cool, dude. I definitely love to support him and buy his book um, Got some cool Victorinox models here these are pretty neat, all the different uh, SAC classics. They have tons and tons of different designs. Last couple of years they've been doing this. Interesting, makes it fun to uh, collect them. I also like this with the toenail clippers in it. Or fingernail clippers, rather. Uh, ba -ba -ba. And Rooster. Ooh, am I skipping anything? Like I said, there's tons to talk about, but I kind of wanted to focus on some of the things that I marked. So I wouldn't make the video too long. Okay, here we go. Battle of Songs. This is new to me. Remington brand Battle of Songs. I really like this green one. Now, $45, you know. I I'm kind of thinking that it's probably close to uh, the Baron Sons quality. You know, you can see it's pin construction. In fact, who knows? Maybe it's made by the same manufacturer. Um, but it's just interesting. I kind of like the design. I love the blade. Uh, I love the green. You know what I mean? Uh, traditional T-latch on this. Again, being pins, I don't know, you know, how long it's going to last, if it gets loose or anything like that, but I may venture into uh, getting one of these. It says it is made in the USA. So, very interesting. Definitely got to check that out. I love to see more companies come out with ballast songs. I love to see a Shrade ballast song. You know, I love to see another Spyderco ballast song, something that's not too crazy in the design. Obviously, there's been a couple of Spyderco Battle Songs before, but they've all been a little bit, in my opinion, too unique. And very cool for collecting, but you know, not the most flippable Battle Songs out there. Um, who else? Obviously, Benchmade has their Battle Songs. Uh, I'd love to see CRKT come out with a Battle Song. You know, especially CRKT and Shrade, I know that they can probably make an awesome, affordable Battle Song. Um, why they don't do it yet probably has to do with legal issues. But, uh, you know, hey, if you guys are watching this video, I'd, I'd love to see it. I'm telling you, it would sell. It would sell well. There's tons and tons of demand for good quality or at least decent quality affordable battle songs. And when I say affordable, I'm talking like $50 or less. And I think both those companies can definitely, you know, provide something like that. But anyway. All right. What else do we have here? We got some Leathermans. Uh, this is what I wanted to point out, too. Is Vitorinox has some different uh, Don't Tread on Me, some Gaston Flag uh, themed knives, which is very cool. We have a Tinker here, and we also have a Sack Classic. So that's another thing I'd, I'd love to get. Very cool for all the gun guys out there. I kind of find that most uh, most people who are into guns, they uh, they like knives, and most people who like knives or are, are into knives like guns. In other words, there's a crossover. Gun guys can appreciate knives, and knife guys can appreciate guns, even if they're not buying them, you know, and using them constantly. Um, I didn't mark this, but I got some cool t-shirts here. I like this one a lot. It's pretty damn cool. Can't buy happiness, but you can buy ammo. Uh, and that's kind of the same thing. <laughs> pretty cool shirts. Got some extended magazines here. Not high capacity. Okay, just extended. That's it. Okay, nothing ridiculous. Speaking of ridiculous, look at this. Now this makes me want to get an AR-15. This is an AR-15 upper that shoots Coke cans. What? <laughs> That's friggin' awesome. Uh, I don't have the IR scanner on my phone anymore. I deleted it because I didn't really use it, but I gotta go find this video and watch it. That's right, this shoots Coke cans. My favorite part of this entire ad, where is it? I gotta find it. Right here. Why launch or yeah, why launch soda cans instead of drinking them? 
because you can. That's a good enough reason for me. So uh, yeah, for all you guys out there that have lowers, maybe you're doing uh, AR builds, that's a pretty damn cool addition. Completely, you know, it, it, <laughs> no, it doesn't really have a purpose other than entertainment, but that's pretty damn cool. And I have to say, that's probably a good non-lethal option. Can you imagine reading that story in the paper? You know, guy breaks into home and defends himself with Coke can. Uh, I don't know, if you shot someone point blank with that thing, it'd probably do some damage. So. But very interesting, had to point that out. If anyone has this or has any intention of buying it, please let me know. I love to see a video on it. Um, I didn't search yet. I don't know if there's videos on YouTube about this. If there is, if you guys can tell me about it or maybe link me to it, I'd love to see it in action. Pretty damn funny. All right, what else we got here? Do -do -do. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Seeing some Browse Blade stuff in Smoky Mountain Knifeworks. He's got three knives in here. Yeah, the Vendetta, which uh, I've never seen before. Um, the VR-71, which I'm a big fan of, and the Sniper, which again, I have a review on and I'm a big fan of. But I think that's awesome. We also got some ZT knives in here. But I don't think I've ever seen Browse stuff in Smoky Mountain. That's awesome. I'm glad that they're, they're selling his stuff. Very cool. We got some Frost knives. This is good for if you have a flea market stand. 20 knives, or excuse me, 20, 20 bucks for 12 knives. All right, guys, I'm back. <laughs> I had to take a break to, to play with Gus. He, he came over and did one of these numbers on my leg. Little Paul just grabbed my leg. Come on, just trying to pull me. Let's play. Let's throw the ball. So the, uh, the cute factor went from down here to, yeah, he's adorable, to boom, just pinned at, at uh, max overload of cuteness. So I had to stop the video. But we're back. Okay, where do we leave off? Frost Cutlery, that's right, all right. Um, yeah, something I wanna say about Frost Cutlery and just these cheap knives in general, yeah, they serve a purpose. A lot, of, a lot of people, especially when you start getting into knives and you've had a lot of different knives, you know, if you've been doing it for a year or, or two years or you know, you've, you've owned 100 knives or whatever, after a while, you start looking at stuff like this and you kind of laugh at it. And, and you, know, you might think to yourself, who buys that crap? Lots and lots of people buy that crap. And I want to remind you guys that, uh, you know, when I got to Knives, there was no YouTube at all. It took me about a year and a half just to find out that there was people on the internet on forums talking about Knives. I didn't know that you could do that. You can go and, and share your hobbies with other people, you know. Um, when I got into Knives, my first knife was a gas station knife. You know, it was a real piece of crap. But I could not be happier with it. You know, my first 50 Knives after that, all pieces of crap. In fact, I was that kid that stayed up till three in the morning and watched Cutlery uh, Network, you know, on TV. And I ordered those sets, you know, where you get 200 knives for 150 bucks and you get the cheap Chinese swords with it and the cool fixed blades and, you know, like 10 of the same knife. Um, I was that kid. I'm glad I went through that phase because it gave me an appreciation for all cutlery. That's why I use the name Cutlery Lover because I love it all. If it's sharp, I'm into it. I don't care if it's a dollar knife. I don't care if it's a thousand dollar knife. So these do serve a purpose. Although we may go back and laugh at them now, they're every day. There's people who are getting interested in knives and they don't know that there's these great high quality knives out there. Or let's say they do, because if you use some common sense, if you have a five dollar knife, yeah, there's probably a more expensive knife. But they just don't have the interest. You know, they don't want to spend the money or maybe they just don't have the money to spend. So if you can go out and you can buy yourself a five dollar knife and be extremely happy about it, then A plus to you. That is awesome. The entire market's progressed. The cheap $5 knives from way back when, not necessarily the same quality as they are today. So anyway, moving on. Um, let's see what else we got here. I love the hobo knives. I've always been a fan of this design. These ones have to be frost cutlery, but of course lots of different companies make them. Very cool. Awesome if you're in uh, Boy Scouts or you do a lot of camping and stuff, having those utensils on you. And you can always use an extra blade. All right, so. This section here says, don't forget about the stocking stuffers. This is basically a lot of stuff for kids, which I think is pretty cool. They got some slingshots here. Um, they got some wooden knives that you can play with. They have to have a, a rubber, uh, or excuse me, foam. Yeah, foam rubber hatchet so that your kids can uh, pretend to chop wood with you and stuff like that. All this stuff's pretty cool. I think this is awesome, especially, again, if you got a young boy or a young girl and you like camping and stuff like that. Um, very cool to have a little spork with a can opener and the... Uh, um, P50, or excuse me, bottle opener and can opener. The can opener being like a, I think it's probably more of a 
P38 size as opposed to the P51. But very cool. We all know how um, you know how functional those can be, and I like seeing the design incorporated into a spork. I think that's cool. But anyway, moving on. Um, why do I have this page dog tagged? I don't even know. Uh, maybe more more Christmas stuff. <laughs> I really don't know why I marked that page. Okay, I know why I'm, why I marked this page. A lot of people ask me constantly, where can you get a good strop? Right here. This is a pretty damn decent strop. In fact, I own the one that's on top here. Okay, $12.99. $12.99. All right, 24 inch. This one's leather on one side, canvas on the other. This one is just leather. It's 22 inches. Can't go wrong with either one. $13 plus shipping from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. All right, if you're into your knives, you're into keeping them maintained because you use them, I think a strop is an awesome addition and a must have for any knife advocate, okay? If you strop your knives properly and you get just a decent paste to go with it, um, you're gonna maintain that edge and you will not have to sharpen as long. I also marked this page too because a lot of people are getting to straight razors and we get a lot more um, questions about them and messages and stuff. Uh, Boker, obviously one of the bigger brands to making uh, some straight razors. Uh, you can't go wrong with any of these models. You know, you don't necessarily have to get a Boker. Um, but, you know, I happen to like them as well. I do have one other boker. Maybe I should do a video on that in the future. But they got some cool safety razors here. They got a nice little uh, deluxe shaving set with a safety razor and a brush. Very cool. And then they have the, uh, the old school shaving bowl, which is very nice, mug style. Um, Zippos. I want to show this real quick. I'm not particularly fond of this design, but I do like that they're coming out with way more models that have three three sides that are actually um, you know etched or that have some kind of a pattern on it. So you can see that the edge here has a nice design on it. I think that's pretty cool. I think they should do a four side. I think they'd be very popular if they continue with this theme. Obviously, it costs more for production. You can see this is a thirty-two dollar Zippo. I'm not into the whole dragon thing. Um, but if you give me another theme that I like and you do a third side like that, or even a fourth side, uh, it just makes it more appealing. It's different. You know what I mean? There's so many damn different Zippos to begin with, but when you start doing that, like for example, the, um, you know, the models that have the, uh, you know, designs that are on the top too. It's just cool. It's different. You know what I mean? So I like it. That's all. Something else having to do with Zippos. This case. Now, I personally... I don't have a use for this because I don't really travel with my Zippos, but I still think this is awesome, especially for the price. This is a Zippo carry case. It's only $7. Carries or holds 44 different Zippos. It's padded. Look how cool that is, man. If you guys are into Zippos, you gotta get this. I'm pretty sure this thing will be sold out eventually. It's a very, very cool item. Uh, and also, people ask me all the time about my Zippo case in my videos. Here's a nice uh, wall display. I like this one a lot more than this. This is good for storage. If you want to get like four or five of these, if you have a ton of Zippos, you get four or five of these, just stack them, you know, keep them in a box or something. They're also good to have around. Let's see what else we got here. We got some Rebel Flag stuff. Oh, I love Smoky Mountain. There's random fossils and, and coins in this catalog too. See, it's not all knives, even though it's mostly knives. Um, yes, also, more cases here. This is what I have for my knives. This is like the Zippo case I just showed you before, only this just has a foam insert. Uh, I've showed knives before in the case and people ask me, hey, where do you get that? Well, right here. It's awesome. I, it's kind of pressure fit, like there's a glass front, and then, like I said, it's a foam backing, so when you put a knife in there and you close it, it kind of, the glass pushes against the knife, against the foam, and it kind of holds it in place. I mean, over time, it's gonna, hold that knife so what's going to happen is if you keep your knives in a certain position for a certain amount of time it's going to basically make an indentation into the foam so you, you can't really change your positions a bunch but if you have an idea of how you want to display them and you know it's gonna be like that for a long time it's perfect for that and that's exactly what i did with mine with some of my slip joints so very cool as well as they have uh, smaller rolls down here this one doubles as a display very cool it can hold four uh, larger um, little slip joints or of course eight tiny knives and you can fold it over and display them. That's pretty neat. I like that. And of course, there's bigger rolls here as well. Now, these are almost always pictured with slip joints, but obviously, you can put whatever you want in there. Anything that's going to fit. So, yeah, Red Rider BB gun. That's always cool. 
Can't beat that. I see Walmart carries those all the time now. Very nice, very nice. Alright, what else we got? Cool signs. Good lord, guys. Keep it down. People, guys always asking, who's snoring in the background? Well, it's Gus. Alright, so this is pretty cool, something I want to show you guys. Um, this is a double take pattern. Now, I've only seen these from Rough Rider in this catalog in Smoke Mountain Knife Works. I've never seen it by like Case or Queen or anything like that. I've never seen any old knives like this pattern, so I think it's it's a new idea. But it's exactly what it sounds, uh, sounds like. It's basically a mirror image model. So in this case, we have a trapper. This is a double take trapper. So you take the trapper design and you double it. Okay, a mirror image, and even the bolster, you can see how the bolster's doubled as well. Pretty damn cool. Here's a muskrat. Okay, so normally, there's your muskrat design, but there's your double take. It's doubled up. It's just weird. I really like it. I don't know why. Uh, maybe because it's different. But I wish more companies made it like that. I guess it's not all that popular. That's why you don't see a lot of them out there, I guess. But, uh, yeah, just wanted to show that to you in case you never saw it before. All right, what else we got here? Coming close to the end, which is always very sad. <laughs> Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal. It's funny, me and my dad used to love watching Steven Seagal movies, watching him snap arms and legs and it's just it's funny to revisit those movies. That was entertaining for us back in the day. I don't know, I don't know if I have anything else. Nope. That looks about it. So yeah, there you go. That is my quick walkthrough of a couple interesting things from the 2015 Smoky Mountain Knife Works Christmas catalog. Um, unfortunately, I don't believe this is available outside the U.S., but if you are a U.S. viewer, go to their website, which I believe is still, well, it's smkw.com, which is on the bottom here. But I remember it used to be eKnifeworks. I don't know if that still works as a, a link to their, their site. But anyway, just go right there smkw.com um, and sign up for their free catalog you know why not it's just a good thing to look at when you're sitting around so that's all thanks for watching guys i hope you have an awesome day and i will see you soon take it easy